Hey, Riddle here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time, where I cover a myriad of topics, but mainly garden wisdom. Garden wisdom and the easiest, quickest, cheapest, and most efficient way to grow food and flowers. I try to cover topics in general that are the most important to actually growing something from seed to harvest and things that I've learned over the years that I feel that people forget to share with new gardeners because when you're first starting out that is when people often take the hardest learning curve hit and often give up. It just is so disheartening for me when I hear someone say that they can't grow anything or they have a brown thumb because growing a garden is simply about not giving up. It's about nurturing. And if you can learn not to give up and nurture a garden, that applies to your own life. And people that are great gardeners are often great friends and very successful in life, I think. And they know how to nourish both themselves and friendships and life itself. So that being said, don't give up. And if you made it through your first year of gardening or your 50th year of gardening last year, the topic of this video is going to be something called volunteers. What are volunteers? So this is where it gets tricky because if you are a garden novice and just starting off, you may not have taken a special note of what your seedlings looked like when you started them last year. But one of the advantages to be being kind of a sloppy gardener is that often our tomatoes and extra fruit and vegetables will either fall on the ground or go all the way, bolt and go all the way to the seed and scatter themselves all over our garden unbeknownst to us. The benefit to this is that those seeds sleep all winter and then in the springtime will self-germinate. This is great because that seed it's a second generation and it's very accustomed to the soil that it uh, has germinated in and it's cold hardy probably already because it's germinating when it wants to germinate uh, minus if you get some freak, you know, freak uh, frost or the temperature drops below a certain temperature. But what I want to tell you is the thing with volunteers is don't be too quick to pull things out until you really know that you're pulling out a weed. Example A. I tossed a bunch of dirt in here from one of my raised beds to top off my finger lime pots. Today, as I'm looking in here, we have a kale start. We have a nasturtium start. And this is um, a red leaf uh, Japanese mustard green. This is really obvious because look at that. It's already displaying those colors. And this is a blade of grass. Foink! Um, so look at these little things. I have no ideas what, I have no idea what these are yet. They could be a complete weed, but I'm not going to rush to pull those out because the way that they're, uh, the way they're, they're, they're displaced around here, they almost look like the beginning of baby Aunt Molly ground cherries. So I'm going to be a little patient and wait for what they call the secondary leaf to come out because often by the second or third leaf, the plant or seedling should be showing you exactly what it is because that obviously looks like kale. As we look around our garden, it's still very, very early here, and it's only because I have a lot of garden experience that I know what all these things are. But I see there's a sunflower seed coming up here. There's a tomato seed. You can tell from the pointed leaves. And lots of broccoli and leafy greens and I did not plant these, and that's why they're called volunteers. So also really, you know, keep an eye in your actual compost pile because all those seeds from the decomposed vegetables often don't decompose. They will come back to life when you redistribute that soil around the yard, and then you just need to be patient and take your time getting to uh, know and learn what seedlings have uh, returned for you and then transplant them and organize them in rows and that way you don't have to buy or start seedlings or vegetable starts which is great you can see here these beets were all volunteers this swiss shard 
that was all volunteer. Oop, look at this. That's not good. So that is obviously slugs or earwigs. I'm going to have to get some diatomaceous earth on that. I'm going to walk over here and see if there's any other volunteers I can show you. Again, it's really early. There's some things that I shouldn't even be putting out yet. I'm just getting a little bit froggy. But I thought the volunteer seedling video was was noteworthy. So I'm going to let you go with that. Keep this one short. Please take care of yourselves and take care of each other in these interesting times. And learn to nurture a garden. Learn to nurture yourselves. And let's nurture everybody right now. Especially planet Earth. Because it's she who gives all life. <laughs>